Sally took off. Don't you hate it how your Mustang can't accelerate if it's life depended on it? Do you wish that your Mustang could get off the line faster? Well have no fear because that's why I'm here making this video telling you guys all about the 410 gears. I have right behind me my 2008 Mustang GT aka Sally and she is currently rocking the Ford Performance 410 gears. If you guys are currently new to gears like I was a couple years ago, let me start off exactly what are gears and what they do. So gears are located in the rear differential which is this box looking thing underneath the car. It, it is also connected by the drive shaft which is right there if you guys could see which also connects to your wheels the gears convert the power given by the drive shaft to your wheels gears are referred to as ratio so for instance 410 gears that means that the drive shaft has to turn 4.1 times in order to turn your wheels once for the stock ratio of the Mustang it is 3.55 so that means that the drive shaft has to turn 3.55 times in order to turn your wheels once. So why do people upgrade? Well increasing the ratio gives your engine more leverage and makes it easier for your car to accelerate faster. With higher gear ratios you have lower top speeds and fewer miles per gallon but to make up for that you have an increase of torque and a quicker off the line. In contrast the lower gears give you an increase of top speed and an increase of miles per gallon but what they do lack is the slower time off the line because you have less torque. If you want the better Best performance out of your car acceleration is the most important thing not top speed a lot of people could get that confused so I just want to clarify that cons of higher gear ratios are fewer miles per gallon a decrease in top speed and loss in traction control talking about the miles per gallon personally I lost about two miles in the city and about five miles on the highway it really does affect you if you are a highway driver but I'm a mix of both, I do city and highway. Currently I'm sitting on about 15 miles per gallon in the city and then 18 on the highway. So I'm in between about 16 and 17 depending on if I do more highway or if I do more city. Loss of traction control can happen because these 410 gears are very strong. I am currently looking in the market for an upgrade on my rims and wheels because the 17 by eight sitting on 235 is just not gonna do it, especially when I install nitrous. My tires are gonna be melting off nitrous, 410 gears, it's unstoppable. So comment down below what rims and wheels you think I should get for Sally down in the comments and I'll consider all options. And for the decrease of top speed, I'm not entirely sure the numbers, but I know that there is just a slight decrease in the top speed. The 410 gears are honestly one of my favorite performance mods I put on Sally. The list of performance mods on my car include JLT Series 3 cold air intake, SR Performance underdrive pulleys, Bama 91 octane race tune, pipes off-road H-pipe and the Borla S-Type Stingers, and of course the Ford Performance 410 gears. Currently my car is making 340 horsepower and 320 foot-pounds of torque at the crank. I'm not entirely sure it is at the wheels. I'm going to dyno it soon, but I'm in the process of installing nitrous, which will give me a boost in 100 horsepower, so stay tuned for that. Those are all of my performance mods and numbers. I want to know what you guys are making and what kind of performance mods you guys have on your Mustang, so comment down below your performance mods and what numbers you get from them, and uh, we'll have a little discussion down in the comments. 410 gears are probably one of the most underestimated performance mods in my opinion. I had no knowledge about gears until I hit up one of the uh, American Muscle experts on the chat and they told me all about them. So I have all of the easy performance mods that I could take on and off for whenever I have to take it in for emissions testing. Here in California, we do have a lot of regulations, so it is hard. You guys already know that I would have long tube headers and aftermarket camshafts if it wasn't for California emissions. But because of that, I do have to only do the easy performance mods. I could just go into the car like an hour or so. Quarter intake is like two minutes, you screw off a screw and you're done. So the next performance mod I had to do was gears because it was legal. It's not against California emissions and it is a huge boost in performance wise. So I went ahead and I grabbed the 410 gears by Ford Performance. If you guys have been following my channel, you know that I hate mechanics and hate taking it to them because they rip you off with those expensive prices. Like to lower my car was 250, to install nitrous is at like a thousand bucks and I hate that, I hate spending the extra money when you could just go and do it yourself. But unfortunately, Gears is out of my scope of knowledge to installation. It's very hard and I recommend you take it to a professional um, to get it done. The installation took me $300 out of my pocket um, to install them. Total, the setup was $560 because of the um, $260 for the Ford Performance 410 kit as well as the installation 
um, $560. It is a bit pricey, but I guarantee you guys, it is definitely worth it. $300 is also the average price to get gears installed into your car. I will put the links down in the description if you guys wanna scoop up the Ford Performance 410 gears and the installation kit. You will also need to get a tune when you install the 410 gears because the RPM and speedometer calibration is gonna be off, so you are gonna need a tune to correct those two. As soon as I picked up the car from the mechanic and placed my foot on the throttle, Sally took off. That was just first and second gear, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, as soon as I touched the throttle, Sally hauled ass. I love the 410 gears. If you guys are thinking about getting 410 gears, I highly recommend it. The two popular upgrades are the 3.73s or the 410 gears. Hold on, let me close the windows. Yeah, so the two popular upgrade of gears for Mustang owners is the 3.73s or the 410s. If you guys are in the pickle of getting 373s, or 410s, I highly recommend 410s. Go big or go home. They pull like no other and I love them. It definitely changes your ride. I don't even recognize driving Sally going from the 3.55s, the stock, um, up to the 410s. It's a whole new different car. I love the performance. The only bad side is the miles per gallon. But driving a Mustang, you don't buy a Mustang for the fuel efficiency. You buy it for the thrill of it and the acceleration. So definitely go for 410s. You will not regret it. All right, guys, that is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you smash that like button. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, comment down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe for more content. And when you do that, also share so we could get the videos around. I would really appreciate it. And as always, have yourself a wonderful day.